Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about Wi-Fi mesh systems. I've been talking about it on my channel for a while and today I want to talk about the Linksys Velop. Right now is probably one of the, I'm not going to say it's the most affordable because it certainly isn't, but in terms of speed, access, usability and more, this is more and more getting higher and higher ranked on review sites. So what I wanted to do today is unbox this bad boy and talk about the advantages and the disadvantages. Now, I'm going to be setting the device up in a future video and showing you just how straightforward and easy it can be to set up any Wi-Fi network, let alone this or another one, and then I'm going to face this bad boy against the Synology Mesh Router System. I'm also gonna be doing another video later on comparing these with Google Wi-Fi, currently the kind of easy going contender for top Wi-Fi mesh system out there. But without further ado, let's focus on the Velop, the Linksys Velop. So before I open it, this is available now for about 300 quid, depending where you shop around. Obviously in dollars and euros, the price is gonna change. And with this particular unit, you get three mesh pods, one main, two, Kind of connecting node devices if you will now from this the three devices together are ac 6600 now that actually corresponds to each individual pod um, added all together each one has got multiple band networks with a 2.4 a 2.4 gigahertz band network have a theoretical maximum transfer rate of 400 megabits per second on top of that there are two with their own separate controller two 5 gigahertz radio networks uh, running simultaneously that can be run at 867 theoretical maximum megabits per second each. And that is where, when you roll them all together, each pod has a theoretical maximum transfer of 2,200 megabits per second. And you add all three up, there's your 6,600 megabits per second or AC 6,600. Boring, isn't it? The device itself, the CPU inside is a quad-core CPU, and it's an 800 megahertz quad-core CPU from Qualcomm, the IPQ4019, and it's also supported with half a gig, 512 megabytes of DDR3 memory, and four gig of internal storage flash for the OS. The software that this device arrives with is the Linksys Shield software. There's also a mobile app too, and with that, you've got everything from parental control to safety precautions with your upload and download, as well as time management of connected devices individually or grouped together, as well as the ability to create a guest network or switch the device off completely. And again, with that, you've also got support of things like Amazon Alexa, which is pretty cool indeed, and not just the fact that you can connect your Amazon Alexa to this device, but also that you can issue voice commands to Alexa for this device. So you can ask it to do things to your network or for your network, enable, disable to your Alexa, which will then control your mesh network, which is damn unique and not something I've seen a great deal apart from proprietary mesh networks once again like Google Wi-Fi and of course Google Home devices. Um, the device has got a couple of WAN ports on the bottom, WAN or LAN depending on how you're going to use them, so LAN area network, wireless area network and the device itself supports those two uh, band frequencies 2.4 and 5 gigahertz across multiple controllers there inside and again the device can be purchased in packs of three two or one at 300 200 or 100 so you can obviously extend your network as you go and with each device you add you get a further theoretical 2200 megabits per second coverage and that's it really that is developed tri-band system so that's enough talking let's look at the damn thing shall we get this out of the plastic as you can probably already work out I've not unboxed this yet and after this video I shall be doing the software overview and tutorial as well let's get rid of that plastic and get this out of its incredibly large box so let's see what's inside for all I know this could have been screwed up in shipping and we're going to open this up to a cat or something we'll get that open and straight away inside is our three mesh devices let's put that there on the table and again, I'm looking forward to setting this up here on the camera. Let's take a look at them. Here's what they look like. Nice little white pods there. Let's bring that nice and close to the camera for you guys. And again, they're quite tall. I'll be honest, they're quite discreet. They've got ventilation for cooling all the way around the device. On the base of that device, we can see those two LAN ports. If we bring that light up, you can see that there relatively well. Let's turn that. So you've got the LAN ports there. You've got an additional power port there and a reset and of course on off as well. Each individual device has got its own connectivity, Wi-Fi setup and recovery mode built into the top. 
and you've also got a button there just for sorting them all out together. So you get three of those devices. Let's pop them around here on the table. And again, they're all pretty much identical if we look at the bottom of that one as well. And third and final, there's one more device there. See, nice and straightforward. Pop that, and then let's have a look what we get inside our box of accessories. Because all three of these, are, they're gonna need power. Let's face it, they're not PoE. So inside we have a LAN cable there, and I believe that is a CAT6, CAT6A six cable. And that cable there, it's one of the flat Linksys ones, it's quite snazzy. But again, we're not gonna focus too much on a LAN cable, are we? If we remove that from there, we have got, quite well presented, our three Linksys PSUs. And these, of course, connect into the rear of those base devices. And of course, mesh systems use significantly less power than traditional routers because you only have one major router that these devices connect through and again quite a decent length cable there i'd say about two meters there on that cable that's not too shabby and i'm looking forward to getting these set up around this building that i'm in right now to see what the performance on those is um again the only positives i mean sorry the only negatives i can really come up with is during the setup of this when i was getting ready to do the setup video after this the majority of the setup is done via a mobile phone device. You can do it via a web browser, but it's nowhere near as intuitive. And they've kind of really leaned quite heavily into the mobile wireless connectivity. Also, if you are going to utilize this in your home network, do know that it's kind of designed to be your proprietary device. And by that I mean, although I have both um, a PoE wireless switch there in the background and a Netgear wireless router there just sort of give my Wi-Fi around this office environment, in this scenario, this device is designed ideally to be connected directly into your internet connectivity and replace your main router. Because otherwise, you can't pair this mesh device with that router. So you need to replace your router with one of these devices, and then these two go somewhere else in your home or network environment to give you a greater coverage as you walk through your home or office. If you don't replace that router, this still has to live next to it. You can't just extend from your existing network and think you're gonna have four access points. One of these will always have to be within wire distance of your internet connection or your router that's already in place. And for the best results, both of connectivity and speed, it is highly advised that you replace your router with one of these in that mesh network. But apart from that, I find it very difficult to fault this like I find it very difficult to fault many mesh devices. This device here is gonna be largely uh, governed by its software. And one of the things I'm really looking forward to doing is one, that speed test of this mesh router against those other mesh routers in a future video. But on top of that, how the software inside this compares with that Synology software. Because although the hardware in this Linksys is significantly better, I'm sorry Synology, it just is, the Synology Mesh Router System has some incredible software with Synology Router Management 1.2 that's recently been updated. So do check that out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, if you've got any questions, do visit the Ask Impair article below to let you know more about this link to router and all the speed tests that we did. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.